Hey scientists, let's take some time to talk about cells, cell structure and function, and the different types of cells. The year is 1665, and microscopes are still a relatively new invention. People are pretty much slicing up anything they can to look at it closely underneath these first primitive microscopes. Microscopes work by using a curved piece of glass or lens to make tiny things large enough for you to see. One guy named Robert Hooke took a small piece of cork and looked at it underneath a microscope and was amazed to see that the cork was made up of these tiny rooms. Like the rooms you might see in a monastery where monks live called cellular. He decided to call these little rooms cells, and the name stuck. Cells are the smallest unit of life, and all living things are made up of some number of cells. After a lot more observation, scientists noticed that not all cells are the same. Some are larger, some have different parts on the inside, some organisms are only made up of one cell, while others are made up of a lot. But there are two main types of cells, those with a control center and those without. Let's focus on the ones with a control center for today. These cells are called eukaryotes, and they're broken down again into two more categories, plant cells and animal cells. Plant and animal cells have a lot in common. Both have a nucleus, or a control center. This is where the organism's DNA is stored, and where the blueprints for that organism are kept. The nucleus is usually sphere-shaped, and looks a lot like a dark spot when viewed through a microscope. Both plant and animal cells also have cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is a thick jelly-like fluid that fills the cell. It's made up of water, salts, and protein. The cytoplasm is held together by a cell membrane. The cell membrane is a barrier that holds the cell together and acts like a door to allow things to enter or leave the cell. If you look at the plant cell, you'll notice that it has another layer outside of the cell membrane. Plant cells have a cell wall. A cell wall is a rigid layer on the very outside of a plant cell made out of a really strong sugar called cellulose. The cell wall gives plant cells their shape. In fact, that rigid wall is why plants snap when you break their stems or why vegetables crunch when you bite into them. Animal cells don't have a cell wall, so when you eat a grilled chicken strip, it doesn't crunch. The biggest and most defining difference between plant and animal cells is that plant cells have chloroplasts. Chloroplasts are small packages inside of plant cells that use the process of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is how plants convert light, CO2, and water into energy and food for the plant. Chloroplasts are also the reason that most plants are green. Cells have lots of other parts or organelles, and each organelle has its own job or function to help out the cell. But let's save those for another day and let's take a look at a question. 